morning, let's get into it. Now, you've got kittens due and so do I, so let's set up together. Today we're going to learn about setting up ready for your mum to give birth to her kittens. She needs a comfortable environment where she's going to be happy, be safe and she's going to calmly give birth. Now normally I'm set up in my kitten room and you may have seen that on a previous video that I've shared. Uh, that is the way I normally do things but today I'm doing things a little bit differently and it's maybe a way that might suit you a bit better too. So I have some important things to share with you. I have a really super special tip that's about kitten safety that I'm going to share with you as well when we get to that part. But before we start, I just want to show you, this is my kitten cupboard with all of my kitten stuff in it. So we'll be using some of this for what we're going to do next. Now let me tell you about the girl that's due to have her babies. I made it four cats all at the same time and of those four cats only one of them got pregnant so she will be coming in and having her babies on her own and that's fine it's a little bit unusual but it happens normally my girls come in and they have their babies in the pens that I have in my kitten room but today I'm going to show you something different a different place where you can set up for your cats to have their kittens and it's a place that most of us have in our homes and it is the bathroom so in our house, we have three bathrooms and we only use one of them ourselves. This is the main bathroom, so it's the biggest bathroom that we have. And it has a bath and it also has a really big shower recess. We do have another smaller ensuite bathroom and it has a smaller shower recess, which also would be fine for this purpose. But I love this one because it's big enough so the cats can be born in there, but then they can also come out and play around in there as well. Here is one of my first really good tips. This is a little baby catch that you get in the um, safety area of your local hardware store. We got this from Bunnings. This is specially made to keep cupboards closed for babies. And we use it on this um, shower recess because obviously the door just opens and closes. And you can imagine mum cat's going to push through that pretty quick and we don't want any kittens to get stuck in there. So we put the latch on there, it just sticks on, it'll come off, it's not going to make any damage to the door at all. And depending on your shower screen, it might be a slidey one or it might be one that comes out, and that's going to be ideal for you. Now if you have a shower recess that just has a curtain on it, that's fine as well. Pop that off, hang it up the top, whatever you need to do, and use the door as the safety area for your cat. Let's take a look at what we're going to need to put into the space. Now remembering it doesn't have to be a shower, it doesn't have to be a bathroom, it could be the bathroom space in general, it could be a walk-in wardrobe, it could be a storeroom that you have in your house, it could just be something that is a really suitable area for your cat to have kittens. The first thing we're going to get is the litter tray. This is the litter tray that I use for my cats, it's the wood pellet system with the sieve tray. So we're going to pop that in there so that mum has this while she's in there ready to have her babies. One of the good things about having the litter tray in the shower recess is that if there's any spills, if there's any mess, if there's anything to be cleaned up, it's really easy to clean. And it's really easy to clean when mum leaves the area as well because you can just turn the shower on and wash everything out. The next thing we're going to need is the box that your cat is actually going to give birth in. I call it a birthing box and here's one that I have here. Now I get asked a lot of questions about these because I have featured them in a previous video. It is just a storage crate with the lid on it and then we have a cutout area at the front where mum can come and go. I get asked all the time, how big are they? How big are they? So I'm going to say it really clearly in this one. This one is actually 88 litres. Now if you have a Maine Coon, you're going to want bigger. If you have a Siamese, you can get away with smaller. This one's 88 litres. I have some that are slightly bigger that I think are probably, you know, 90 or 95 litres. This is a really good size and fits really well in the dog crates the extra, extra, extra large dog crates that I use in my kitten room. Um, if you're doing it in the bathroom, depending on the size you have, you might need to go a bit bigger or smaller, uh, depending on the space that you have. But your cat must be able to lay down. Um, she can stretch out um, pretty comfortably. She'll need to be able to push her legs against the sides, but she needs to be able to stretch out comfortably in there. And that's really the secret, finding out what size suits your size of cat. This box has already been all cleaned out with my TrueGuard disinfectant, so let's pop it in the shower. Now back at the start of the video I showed you my kitten room in the cupboard, how it was chock-a-block full of bedding. And this is how much bedding we're going to use to set up for this birth. It looks like a lot, but every single piece has its own place and, and own purpose. The first thing that we're going to look at is these are mats that I get from Ikea. They're actually dish drying mats. 
So they're a foamy sort of feel and they've got a nice um, texture cover on them. Um, you can also get them from Kama, but I think I'm liking the Ikea ones better. They're very cheap and if they get yucky, you can throw them away. Next up, we have the baby blankets. Now in the videos and photos I share with my kittens, I often laugh because it looks like I've only got two blankets. This one and a stripy one. No, I have about 12 of each, I think. They're baby blankets, they're made of polar fleece, they're edged, they wash up beautifully. Um, they're nice and lightweight, but they're also nice and warm. And I really love these to use for my cats. Next up, we have towels. And I have a lot of towels because I actually own a beauty spa and we have a lot of towels that once they're not good enough for work, they come home and go to my cats. So I have two towels here, good sized towels. They're gonna go across the top of the birthing box. Last up, we have the bath mats. Now these bath mats are actually what my cats give birth on and they normally push them aside and give birth on the plastic base of the um, birthing box, but these are really absorbent and they're really great to um, put the kittens on when the kittens are being born and then they're really easy to wash up and they're very cheap. These are very cheap from Big W. Uh, use them a couple of times. You can see that they're getting a little bit thready because the cats have scratched at them and so forth then they just get thrown away and I get a new one. So I like the idea of having, I like the idea of reusing these, like those baby blankets, I've had them for years, but I also like the idea of these being cheap and easy to replace. Next up, we have a water dish. Now this is the one that I'm gonna put in there for my mum cat. Later on when we have kittens that are moving around and toddling and starting to drink water, I will actually get something a little bit more shallow for them, but this is what mum's gonna have to start off with. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos at all, you know I'm a fan of the next product I've got. This is Royal Cannon Baby Cat, and this is what my cats eat when they're having babies. This is a really great kibble for your mum cats and your baby cats, and I've got a big container of it. I like to put it in a container so that I've got the container in where the cat is. I don't have to go get the food and then come back. So this is gonna go in there with her, and then when it's time to fill up her bowl, I've got a scoop in there and I can just dish it out and put it in. Speaking of bowls, this is the bowl she's gonna have in there as well. It's nice and big so that she can eat out of that without feeling like she's touching her whiskers or anything, because my cats do have big buffy heads, um, and that's the bowl she's gonna have. Now, if you know me, you know that I love to get stuff for my breeding cats from Kmart and Big W and places like that. And this is one of my Kmart finds. This is a special bucket that's meant to be used for scraps for composting and it goes underneath the sink in the cupboard. It's a really good poop bucket and that's what we call them, the poop bucket. I have this plus one of their scoops. And what I do is I'll have a plastic bag in here. I'll put this not in with them, but I'll put this over here next to the pen. And what I'll do is I'll come in here when I'm cleaning up and often your girls, especially once they've got kittens, they will do some pretty bad things. You wanna deal with them really quickly. So the easiest thing to do is to have the bucket there with a nice sealed up lid. You can then scoop the poop, pop it in the bucket, seal it up, deal with it the next day um, and take it out to the bin. So I have these in all my areas where I have cats um, inside the house. I have a poop bucket so that we can get rid of any stinkies. And speaking of stinkies, I've also got my True Eco spray, which is my very favourite spray for my cats and kittens. It's um, an enzyme spray and I love it for dealing with stinky stuff. And I've also got my antibacterial spray, which is my True Gap as well. The last thing I'm going to set up in here is my camera. Now this one is my directional camera. I also have, you would have seen it in my previous video, the twisty camera that sits on the edge of the cages. There's nowhere to twist that onto in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this camera and this camera can move around. I can control it from my phone and I can zoom in and look at what I need to look at. I'm going to set it up so that it's outside of the actual shower recess because it's glass and we can see through so that it won't disturb mum, but I'll be able to zoom and see what she's doing. Okay, so we're all set up in the shower recess now. We have everything here, we have the food, we have everything ready for her to come in and be in here. This is the birthing box all set up. You can see that I have a towel on the top and then I have a blanket there because she can actually jump up on there and she can use that as a little shelf to sit on. Whether she's um, sitting on there before she has her kittens, I find a lot of my cats like to sit on the top of the box a lot before they'll actually go into the box and give birth. So that's there ready for her. And this blanket here, as she's sitting on that blanket, she's gonna add some scent to it. So later on, this is the blanket that I'm going to use when I change her bedding for the first time. In the actual box itself, we have the bed uh, set up for her. I have a blanket here, I have a bath mat, and then I have that absorbent mat as well. Uh, I will, when she starts to go into labor, I'll probably take the big blanket out, but then I'll put it back in once the kittens are actually born. And I'll use that, um, bath mat to soak up anything that comes out because lots of stuff comes out uh, and then that can just go and be washed or chucked away. 
One of the things that you can do with the top of this is if um, she's acting a little bit uncomfortable, acting a little bit unsettled, you can actually pull this down and cover up that hole a bit as well. And that'll give her a little bit more privacy. You can open up this towel and cover up the whole box. Now, if you've got a clear plastic box, it's really good because you can see in there and see what's going on, but it does let a lot of lighting. Uh, I have a couple of boxes that I've used in the past that have actually been dark colored. You can get black ones from Bunnings now or dark colored ones. Um, I do like the clear ones, but if you want to make it a little bit more private for her, if she's acting a little bit unsettled, you can just cover it over a bit more and let less light in. Now, at the beginning of this video, I mentioned an extra safety tip I was going to give you, and it's actually a really sad story. We had a tragedy uh, a few years back. We had kittens in here, in this room, playing. They were with their mum. They were older. They were toddling. One of them managed to pull the top of the drain off and actually did fall down the drain hole and did drown. Um, it was it was a horrendous, horrendous experience and I don't want anybody to ever go through that again. So I'm going to show you what you need to do if you're using a bathroom, if you're using a laundry, if you're using anywhere where there's a drain hole, you must do this before you let your little baby kittens out into that space. So this is the drain hole and what you need to do is you need to seal that up. What I'm going to use is tape. I'm just going to use some cloth tape. And I'm going to stick that down so that it can't come up. The kittens can't get it up and they can't fall down that hole. I'm just going to take a large piece of tape and tape it up. Now, yes, this means that water won't be able to drain out of here, but I'm not turning the shower on anytime soon while my cat's in here. There we go. That's all sealed up. But as an extra measure, I'm just going to take my water dish and put it on top of there so that it's extra safe and that there's no risk of anybody getting that tape off. Now that the shower's all set up, let's go get Ellie. This is Ellie. Ellie's gonna be a first time mum. She's a little bit nervous because she's not been in here before, but I think she's gonna be fine. Let's put her in there and see how she goes. Ellie. Ellie's exploring, she's checking everything out. You can see that she's quite heavily pregnant. She's due in a couple of days. She looks bigger on one side than the other. So I do wonder if we're going to have an uneven number of kittens this time around. It's her first litter, but I think she's gonna be amazing. I hope that's been helpful and that you've got some ideas about different places you can set up in your home for your cats to give birth. Um, visit my website at www.catbreedingforbeginners.com. I've got articles, I've got information, I've got a podcast, more stuff for you to learn, and I'd love to see you there.